Here's another uh, critique on Parable in My Mailbox. Again, critique's going to have a summary and then an evaluation. Those are the two parts. This summary is particularly long. It's, it's well developed. It has sufficient length and met the basic requirements of the assignment. I get the name of the author. I get the article up here. I get a lot of uh, substance, but the main points are being uh, pointed to in the summary. Uh, business is dropping, all right. Um, Green thinks we can still keep the mailboxes. This is another major point he made. Um, and then another one is, another point that Green made in his article was that the system was so smooth we ought to be thankful for it. So this summary is pretty much right on. Uh, there, there are some surface problems that, that that need to be taken care of, like the like the double contraction here. But those are things that you can work out when you proofread more carefully. Uh, good job with the summary. And then notice that the voice that moves into the evaluation, the the student's voice here comes out very clear. Like this is what I think about it. See, I believe he did a good job. Um, I was shocked. So there's a lot of this this response that I, I know that this is the student's voice. Good. Now. Um, again, there are some surface issues, uh, the parenthetical citation, you know, that period is always a troublesome period, all right, so that, that needs to come out over here for MLA, um, other things, uh, other things like that, but uh, it's a decent evaluation, the, the summary was, was, I think, more technically, uh, technically stronger, but the evaluation is, is okay, but toward the end here, the evaluation starts to, um, to run out of steam, all right, now, Going back to some uh, issues that would keep us away from a flat out four, uh, a, a very high score would be, you know, things like the run on here. This is very true. Why would they tear down? That's a that's a two sentences put together into one. Uh, something like this. Every day you need to, it to be this. All right. It, uh, there's a difference between every day as one word and every day as two. Um, so there are some s surface areas that really need to be cleaned up more in the evaluation than in the summary. But what I want you to see here is. Um, Let's see, you know, the student reminds us that Green says that the, the real story, the daily miracles, how the system has managed to work as, as cleanly as it has. Now, I need some parenthetical citation here because there's a quotation. But then the student goes on and says, it's amazing how all of our mail always makes it to the destination, okay? Uh, I'm not sure if we should start saying goodbye to the mailboxes because my guess is we will always need some kind of mail system no matter. Notice that the student here has moved off into a different way, a different uh, sort of tangent. Uh, even if we did lose it, would there be that many people who would actually miss the mailbox system? Not sure if there would be many, if anybody at all. Um, this sort of ends us in a tangential, um, off the subject mark because um, it says, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm just sort of guessing that at this point, whoever wrote this wanted to be done. <laughs> uh, like at this point right here. And then I just kind of threw some sentences on in the end. It just, the last part of this evaluation doesn't seem to have the craft, the structure, the substance that the rest of this pretty good piece of writing had. So this would probably be like an A, an A minus, or like a 3.7 out of 4.